Hello, welcome or welcome back. And this is the glitter colors that we're using today. And sad news, she did close her shop, but there are many other choices for you to choose from. So first off, I am just kind of going freehand here with taping off my cup. I just had this kind of like swoopy design in my head and I just decided to tape it off and go with it. So I'm just using a thin painter's tape and just painting, not painting, taping down my lines. And I wanted to get that swoopy swirl. So I wanted to use a really thin painter's tape to do that because it really just kind of bends and smooths down on the cup very nicely. I'll make sure to just leave a link of the tapes um, from Amazon down for you below. So I just am figuring out where I want my sections and just laying the tape there. I know I wanted just a swoop of a couple sections in the middle and then I wanted two split sections on the other side. So I just put those um, swooped section there and then I take my other piece and just connect it one piece of tape from the bottom to the top to give me the two bigger sections on the other side. And I'm doing a glitter ombre for the first two big sections. So I am going to grab my pink and my orange and I'm just gonna lay down um, a painted ombre. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's just the base for our glitter. So just go ahead and lay down your pink and your orange and I leave a little section of the two paint colors first. You wanna keep the paints wet though for when you go decide to blend them. And I put the pink down and then I put the orange down and then I just take the same brush and I just kind of blend them in together and that gives you a little blended line there for your ombre and remember this is not the overall look so it doesn't have to be perfect just get them blended enough for your glitter application so don't get too hung up on that part just get the paint on there just for our glitter base in my last Ocean Beach tutorial, I did ombre base paint my whole cup if you wanted to see more of that. And it shows you how to do the whole cup with the painted based ombre. How do you even say that? Ombre base paint, painted ombre based, I, I don't know, hobbity hoobity, whatever. The whole cup is painted ombre, whatever. So you can take a look at that and see how I did the whole cup with I think like four colors. So anyways, we are doing the same thing on the other side with blue and purple. And if your paint does start to dry up on you when you're going to blend, I just took the paintbrush and dipped one side in the purple, one side in the blue, and went on my blend line and blended it in there. Again, don't try to be perfect unless this is your you know, final result and you're not laying glitter over it, then try to be a little bit more perfect, but we're not, we're laying glitter over this. We're just getting a base here, okay? So don't don't be going all crazy on me, getting all perfect and OCD, okay? Just get the paint on, make sure it's not too harsh of a line for that glitter to show through. We just want it on there. I didn't know what color I was gonna do my bottom yet, but then I just decided to go ahead and do it purple too. So I'm just cutting off where my tape ends at the bottom, and then I'm just gonna lay a strip right across the edge there so I can just go ahead and paint my, pur my bottom purple as well. And once our paint is all dry, we'll go ahead and glitter the first section. And I'm going to use Helios Glitter Glue. This is my favorite choice of adhesive when I'm doing bigger sections or ombres and I don't wanna mix up epoxy to do it. It's like when you wanna do the Mod Podge method, but use the Helios instead because Mod Podge could dry up by the time you get to it if you're not fast enough. Helios is like a tack it in a way. It stays tacky and it doesn't dry up on you and you can take your time on it. So. The Helios is fantastic for things like this, bigger sections or when you're ombreing so you don't have to move too fast and you wanna go back and forth and it will not dry up on you and you can take your time and it stays tacky and it won't dry up like Mod Podge does. And I didn't wanna go ahead and mix up epoxy, you know, wait for that to dry and move on to the next steps. Helios is your answer. 
that's my little obsession over that. But anyways, I started with my pink and I did my rim first and then I did light sprinkles first with a heavy tilt like I always do on my ombres and I sprinkled down and then I did my orange and started with that little bit of the rim first, light sprinkle with a heavy tilt down and then I went back to the pink and I aim at my rim and I just do a heavier sprinkle down and then I go back to the orange still aiming at the rim but a little bit of a heavier sprinkle down and I go back and forth with that and my sprinkle gets just a little bit heavier on each pass and this is a chunkier glitter I'm not using a finer cut in between with these so you can still ombre with a chunkier glitter it is always nice to use a finer cut with the similar colors in between that does help with ombres but this one I just did the chunky so you can still do it with a chunky glitter a finer cut in the similar colors does really help lay in between those gaps so after you got all your glitter on roll it up in some parchment paper and flatten that glitter down so you don't have those chunkies laying up when you go to epoxy or else you will have a lot of sanding to do here we are again covering my rim first with the glitter and a heavier portion and then i'm going to be tilting my cup giving some distance between my glitter and my cup with a tilt still aiming for my rim but giving it a light sprinkle not making it rain at all yet just a light sprinkle still aiming for that rim i am not aiming for the center of the cup i'm aiming only at the rim and it will sprinkle down. Same thing for the blue. Rim first, still aiming for the rim and giving it a light sprinkle. I always still aim for my rim and it will fall down because you're giving your cup a tilt. And then I go back and forth and I let my sprinkle turn in more to a rain each pass. So we start with the sprinkle and then we start making it rain every single pass. And if you had a fine cut that matches your colors on your last pass, that's when you would go in with a heavy rain of your glitter and fill in all of those little gaps. That's what the finer cuts are for when you're using an ombre, a chunky and a fine. The fine will go through and fill in all of those little gaps of the chunky glitter. I was okay on this one because this one was a really good multi-size mix and I got really good coverage on it. Now we're just gonna go ahead and peel the tape for the next sections. This is where I messed up before by not peeling the tape where those two sections met before. And this time I am going to mix my Helios into my paint and go ahead and put the glitter right on top. Oh my gosh, you can see my Winnie the Pooh Jam Jams on right here. <laughs> Who else decides to stay in their PJs and work in their craft room all day? Yes, me, guilty, no shame in my game. Okay, so here's where I'm going to try and fix my really large boo-boo. This is where you should have peeled your tape. After your pink and orange section, you should have peeled that large piece of tape that just split those two large sections before you moved on to the purple and blue. That's where I messed up. That's where I wasn't thinking. I was just moving and grooving and went into the purple and blue. And then I was like, oh crap, I didn't peel that tape where those two sections met. And that left me with this big stripe here. That needed to be purple and blue glitter too. So this would have been a problem if I wasn't deciding to lay vinyl down here. That'll all be covered if that, you know, if, if it wasn't gonna be vinyl on top, you will still see this little bit of a boo-boo. So if I wasn't laying vinyl on top of this and I was just trying to have this like a nice pretty ombre, I would need to go through and recoat that whole entire section and then you wouldn't be able to see it. But since I knew I was laying vinyl on, I didn't care if you could still see that little bit of a section. And you'll see when I go lay my vinyl on, it'll be completely covered. So now I'm just finishing off my last stripe and it'll be fine. And what I mean by if you weren't laying vinyl on top to recoat your section, I don't mean go ahead and strip your cup. All I mean is re-helios and glitter that section again not just that one little line like I did. So here's where you see 
I already epoxied and sanded until smooth my whole cup and now I'm ready to lay my vinyl. I just went ahead and cut some zebra stripes out on some tech wrap vinyl and I went ahead first and laid down my few stripes that I knew needed to cover that line to hide my boo-boo and then I went ahead and took the whole sheet because I was not about to lay every single stripe by hand and I laid the whole sheet that I cut out on some parchment paper first and now I'm just laying it out on the cup so it's not sticking, it's on the parchment paper so I can see where I need to cut. And I'm just kind of drawing a couple little lines so I can go ahead and cut it with my scissors. And then I will we'll lay it on the cup, like, I don't know, what do you call it, that, that hinge method or whatever, where I just tape it down on my cup and then lay it all in one piece. So now I'm just seeing where it all lines up, seeing how I want to place it. I had to just peel a couple off that were going to overlap and take those off so I didn't have to take them off on top of the other vinyl. And I just placed it down where I wanted it to be, put a piece of tape down, and then I went ahead and took the parchment paper off and laid it on my cup. And then I just followed my yellow line where it met up with the purple and I just trimmed off those edges and I took some extra stripes where I needed to fill in there and just placed those on and that was that. Cut off the edge there and went on to the zebras or zebra leopard spots and I did decide to place those by hand because I used a couple different colors of some solid spots and then some outlines and placed those on the pink and orange side. And one thing I guess I completely forgot to record was after I laid my zebra and my leopard spots, I went straight into the striping and I obviously just completely forgot to record that part. And I just striped it with either 0.05 or 0.07. Those are both great sizes for thin, thin striping. And then you go ahead and just go ahead and give it a clear coat of either spray sealer or I like to use quick coat and give it your last coat of epoxy. And then it is completely finished and ready to go. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching.